take a drink after I say this before you decide to lunge at the screen or the phone or whatever. Maybe because it's not a good It's a nothing for me. Hey, I'm looking at the crocodile in my mouth. How about next? I get a problem. This kind of thing, I'm only talking about my colleagues. No, as much as so and so is my friend, but now I don't do things the way that they do. No, I can't. It means when you have to have a spark with someone. Babe derives from baby. In the Latin sense, you know, in Latin, how about it? But what's about us? Koti sa usa ko chobe sa ko small street is a guy. Why? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is I, it is just Katleo. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for choosing me over and over again. This is gonna be a fun one. I've got my glass of wine here because, because I got feel I, I wasn't feeling the, the brown drinks. Yeah, if yeah, if I cannot. So anyway, we're here. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Also, don't forget to like the video. Thank you so much to everybody who's been putting in the effort of liking the video because when we get a video to over a thousand likes, it makes the video get recommended to other people that are outside of the JK family. And because of that, we've been growing quite fast as opposed to how we have been recently so thank you very 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 much for choosing me over and over again today we're gonna do an unpopular opinions yes we're gonna do an unpopular opinion so love this segment of my channel candid with cat unpopular opinions there's some of my favorite videos to film um uh, uh things that i'm too old for that kind of vibe Really, really, I love ending off my recording days by filming those kinds of videos because I can pour myself a drink and then have a good time and enjoy my time. So thank you for being here. Let's get into the unpopular opinions. I've written them down because these ones are mine. So these ones are not ones that you threw in and this and this. No, no, no. These ones are mine, Chaz. So these ones are the ones that I came up with and we're going to talk around them and we're going to have a good time. So pull up your drink, get your drink, let's have a ball and let's have a good time. The first unpopular opinion that I have is you are who you surround yourself with. Now, I don't care who says what. You can easily say that, yeah, me and my friend, we're very different, you know, we're not the same, we're not the this, we're not the this. No, no. I actually feel like the people that you choose to surround yourself with are people who are in alignment and you are in agreement with the things that they do and the things that they're about and all of that. You are who you surround yourself with. So if you're going to surround yourself with people who motivate you, who inspire you, who make you want to be a better person, you will typically react the same way. You will give off the same energy to other people. If you surround yourself with people who are constantly drinking, with people who are constantly bashing other people, people who are constantly gossiping, talking about men, women, whatever, talking about sex. That is what you like. That is what you're about. Let's kind of it a more little well I'm gonna know as much as so and so is my friend, but now I don't do things the way that they do. Body cali bodesha body suit. Because you're lying, okay? You spend time around that person because you pretty much are in agreement with some of the things that they do. So if you are seen out and about with someone who is an actual problem, finish the sentence. <laughs> that is all it is. Mm -hmm. There were no problem whether you like it or not. Uh -uh. You can catch me outside with that because I said what I said. This one might actually piss people off because I'm thinking to myself, for who the way I like this one. <laughs> and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I don't like chocolate. I don't like chocolate. I'm not a big fan of chocolate. Yes, will I eat it every now and again? Sure. 
And every now and again, I'm talking about months in between, right? Will I eat it every now and again? Yes, sure. I'll eat the chocolate. But there's something about the texture of chocolate that I really, really don't like. That's why I love ones that have a bit of shortbread in them or raisins or something. But if you're going to... Oh, it's like dairy milk. Fella. With no... With no... With no... Manana, shortbread, manana. I want a body chuckles, man. It's a shortbread or it's a raisin. Then, no. I'm really... It can sit months and months in my drawer, my snack drawer, and it'll sit there. I'm really not a fan of chocolate. There's something about the texture of chocolate that just I don't get on with. So I'll literally all the time when I eat it, I'll chew, 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 and then swallow it. Um, I like the taste, but I don't like the texture of the chocolate. And that's that on that. Bot, bodesha, botikali, bodysuit. You can like your chocolate. Tama lo reka chocolate ya hao. Tama lo reka PS li lunch ba le enye. I'm not saying, hey, I'm just saying that for me, I'm not a fan of chocolate and that's that on that. Okay? Oh my gosh, this one's gonna piss people off, but I'm gonna say it. Crocs, the shoes. Crocs. They're just trendy. They're not nice. I, I, <laughs> I feel like you can find more comfortable shoes. Okay, because people love to go on and be like, oh, Crocs are so comfortable. Um, I got Crocs when they first came out and I didn't feel comfort in the Crocs. And also, I just felt like these shoes are hideous. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The shoes are ugly. Okay, don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me, girl. <laughs> What I must do? Don't be mad at me. But the shoes are actually really, really ugly. I don't get on with Crocs. It's like how people don't get on with Uggs. But I think Uggs are fantastic. I think Uggs are... W Uggs. Like, the real Uggs. Yes. Um, 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 I think they're fantastic. I think they're great. But Crocs? Crocs? It's a man looking the crocodile mo mautong. How on a next? I get a problem. I just think they're trendy. O kono kaya the stock snitsi, the stock asnyana. O kaya the pinny, the pin tablet, the engu modi thing. It's nice. It makes it look kind of cute. But they're just trendy. But outside of that, no. Never mind. It's like um. So recently, I also watched. Uh, this horrible movie, I was forced to watch it by Naledi and she made me watch The Perfect Find. And the reason why I watched it is because Gabrielle Union, yes, but also because I have the book in my house. Naledi has now taken it to read it. So I've had the book and then I thought to myself, Ugh, I hate reading, I hate watching a show without reading the book, right? But then I was like, okay, she's here. Naledi was uh, sleeping over at my place and I was just like, okay, we'll watch it. And the whole time she kept on going on about Keith Powers or Kevin Powers. Oh my God, he's so hot. Oh my God, he's... No, he ain't. No, he ain't. Ki yellow bonu ka. Outside of that, no, he ain't. He's not. Like, according to me, I don't see anything that is cute about Keith Powers. Nothing. I'm so listen quatella, but it'd be like that sometimes. You can catch me two streets away because it's a nothing for me. Never that. I'm no. Keith Powers ain't that cute, man. Arwene Timara. Or is it because na kata di taktindi? Maybe because na kata di taktindi. Aker. But outside of that, no. Keith Keith Powers. Psh. Psh. <laughs> My next one is. And I think this will piss people off, especially people who like summer. I feel like winter clothes, winter wardrobes are much better than summer wardrobes. You can take your rompers, uh, the jumpsuit, the body suit, the, 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 the bikini, the, the, the blouse, the, 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 the a -line. you can take them, can put them down here, can show skin, you can whatever. Winter wardrobe trumps summer wardrobe any day. I don't care what you can say. I don't care what you can say. I don't care what you can say. I don't care what you can Because it, 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 something about a winter wardrobe elevates your look. Okay? It takes you from being jazz 
got there to damn what a lady i love that oh my just gosh what do you even mean bro i'm just saying i'm just saying let's go at the liquata you can go and take your quarter and throw it outside I want to not dustbin collection. Yeah, they collect it. Kadi, I like that thing. Kadi Wednesdays, you can take your quarter and you can just open and just throw it in there because I couldn't care. Damn. <sighs> this one, having a spark with someone. Kila wana lightning, explosives. Oh my God, I love them. Eh? Oh, oh my God, we just we just have the spark. There's this thing about us. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're the one. <sighs> what the hell we gonna do now? I can tell you for free, I had a spark with someone. Were they the one? No. I can tell you right now, the one that I'm with right now is the one. Yeah. Yeah. You can have a spark with somebody, but it has no bearing. None whatsoever on the fact that they're the one. Catch me seven streets outside. You can come and say, oh, no, Kato, you're talking shit. No, Kato, it means when you have to have a spark with someone. <laughs> this one's gonna piss people off, but I guess it'd be like that sometimes. You know, I guess it'd be like that sometimes. The word babe, B A B E, babe. I find it quite cringeworthy. I'm not even gonna lie, babe. Hey, babe, do this, this. Hey, babe, do this, this. Like, add lame to the list. Add whack to the list. Babe derives from baby in the Latin sense, you know? In Latin, um, babe derives from baby. Uh, if you didn't know that, I've educated you get today. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I've educated you get today. Babe means baby, and it, it is derived from the Latin slash um, atheneological uh, term, but baby is much better than babe. I find babe so cringe. I find a guy calling his chick babe, hey babe, hey babe, could you get this? Hey babe. And then the chick goes, hey babe, babe. I, I ugh. I'm so tired, yeah. I would I'm so tired. I'm really tired. You know, I'm not saying I don't use it. The term, I actually don't. I don't use the term babe with any of the people that I'm familiar with. I don't. But uh, no. It's a no for me. I've tried it a number of times. I've tried it. I've tried to use babe in comments and all of that. But every single time that I'd put it there, I'd be like, mm -mm, I don't like this word. Mm -mm. Oh, that's us. That's us. Lena, you can put a doll. Like for me, I can use doll. I can use hun. I can use when I'm referring to other females. When I'm referring to my partner, I, I use his name all the time. But I can use doll, hun. Uh, okay, maybe I use honey with my partner, you know, love, whatever. But, babe, it makes it seem so, you know, so high school. It makes it seem so ribana. I said what I said, you can disagree. Maybe you're sitting there when I did the table. Maybe you're sitting there when I supposed to say, so, Sinta, I hear the chat. Oh, I don't. I hear the chat, I don't. Maybe you're sitting there in this sis and you're like, but that's what I call spoo. That's what I call spoo. Spoo's my babe. Hey. Influencers. Okay, we're going to get into this. Influencers, when they gatekeep, when they gatekeep makeup, when they gatekeep clothes, when they gatekeep whatever, like this business of you don't want to tell people where you got this jacket from or where you got this from witchery. Okay. Or where you got this turtleneck from or where you got your hair from or whatever. Why? Why? Gatekeeping, this is for the influencers. But it's also for just people, just in general. Why are you gatekeeping? That is just weird. So how about it? But what's about us? Koti sa ako sa ako chobe sa ako small street sa kai. Why? Hey, eh. But you're not going to small street. 
if it means over the same Zara gene that you got and you got it because it was marked down and you got it from Eden Vale somewhere. Meanwhile, you got it for 300 rand. But the same Zara gene, me, I'm getting it for 800 rand. Why don't you tell me? Okay, keep it. On a lady shares in now. I can't I can't go Zara. Get right here, man. Mm -mm. I just find the concept of gatekeeping really weird. I find it absolutely weird. I feel like, why are you gatekeeping? What is the point, my darling? Like, what do you go about? You want it to just be you who knows where that place is or where you got that turtleneck from or whatever. Nah, get out of here. Uh, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Ooh, this is gonna ruffle people who are very big on friendships, but it's true. Are you ready? Are you seated? Shop. Got your drink in your hand? Shop. Take a drink after I say this before you decide to lunge at the screen or the phone or whatever. Okay? Take a drink. You don't have to support your friends in everything they do. Mm -mm. No. No. <sighs> Somebody can be your friend, but you don't typically have to support them in everything they do. Why? You don't have to. If this is something that is not in agreement with you, it, that, that, that you're just like, oh, okay, I hear it, but you don't agree with it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Do your thing. You don't have to. This goes along with the whole influencers and followers and whatever. You don't have to support them in everything that they do. If you do not agree with the video that they have posted, fine. You don't have to like it. You don't have to follow. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to. I know it's a little bit sticky when it's with a friend because it's always like, no, but you have to support your friend. You have to support your partner. You have to support. No, you don't. I no, no, you don't. Mm -mm. So, I mean, I must support you because you are in agreement with the fact that drugs are a great thing. Cocaine is a great thing, especially if you're going out and you're having a party. Cocaine is the one, baby. That's the one that you need. No, I'm not going to support that. Am I still going to be your friend? I, am I going to worry about your ass? Yes, I will. I will worry about you. But am I going to support you? No. I don't support the concept of cocaine. I don't support the concept of drinking till you have nothing left. Till go teka teka watesalesa. No, no, hey. you drink so much, you go. Go, you drink so much, Oba John. No, no, no. I can't support that. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. There's certain things that your friends can do that you may not agree with, and that's fine. You don't have to support them, and that's okay. Friends of influencers? <laughs> friends of influencers don't always have to support their work. Your friends who are not influencers, or your friends who are influencers. And if you're an influencer, don't, influencers, you're, you're an influencer, they don't have to always like or comment on your videos, on your uh, 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 Instagram feed, on your TikTok, whatever. They don't have to. They really don't have to. How about that? How about that? Look, I'm very territorial. I'm not even going to lie. I'm that friend where if I do see you supporting other influencers and you know that I'm an influencer and you haven't, like, you've gone six months without even liking one of my pictures or whatever, I'm going to feel some type of way. But you cannot expect every single time you post something that your friend must be commenting or liking. Every single time, influencers post sometimes three times a day, dog. They post every day, but sometimes they post three times a day. My must like everything. Aye, 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 aye. Ah, the okay, okay. 
The young ones are going to hate me for this one, but I feel like YOLO, the concept and the term YOLO, nonsense. You only live once. So what? So because you only live once, you're going to do that thing and risk your life, risk your body, risk going to jail, risk doing this because, hey man, you know what? You only live once. <laughs> Let me try it. <laughs> and then your body doesn't agree with that. You only live once. Your body doesn't agree with it. But I mean, you only live once. I don't agree with the concept of YOLO. I just don't. I don't think it's wise. I don't think it's smart. I don't think it's a thing. Like, I really don't think it's a thing. Like, I've heard people talk about, oh, YOLO, YOLO this, YOLO that. But is it really a thing? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't agree with the concept of YOLO. But then again, do you, boo? <laughs> Catch me two streets away, but do you, boo? Oh, people are going to hate me for this. When you're attractive, when you're really pretty, like I'm talking high levels of attractive, not just Marantanyana, you're beautiful. No, when you're attractive, you don't have to have a personality. Oh, people are going to like you anyway. <laughs> People are going to like you anyway. When you're attractive, people are always going to be in support of you. People are always going to, you're going to have better opportunities. Um, you're going to be accepted better. When you're not attractive, all I had to do was I had a fight. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's the reality. When you're attractive, it's the reality. When you're attractive, you don't have to have a personality. You can get away with being a complete dunderhead when you're attractive. And you could be a multimillionaire. And you could be loved by the world. And you could be appreciated. Listen, I'm telling you all of it. When you're attractive, you literally can get away with anything. Anything. <laughs> the last one I have is black tax. And I genuinely feel that this one is true. Black tax is one of the highest reasons for many people's mental health struggles. I feel like black tax is detrimental to a young person's mental health. Um, you could be getting started. You get a great job. And then you are taxed with black tax and you realize that you have to constantly be helping your family, constantly be doing this for your family. And you realize that you have to constantly be helping your family doing this. There is no way in the world that that will not be problematic to your mental health. I think that black tax is a huge catalyst to why so many young black people who are new in the working environment struggle quite a lot because with your first salary with your first salary you're already being told hore no you need to make sure hore a b c z you need to make sure that this 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 you need to help your mom with your groceries because you still stay at home you need to help your dad with this can you please black tax is a huge a huge contributor to many young black people's mental health struggles. I said what I said. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. If you're not, please at the very least do like the video. Let's try and get the video to over 1000 likes. I know it's hard, but we can get there because typically a lot of the times like 800 likes, 900 likes. So please, if you're not somebody who typically likes the videos, do me a solid. Do me a solid. I really would appreciate that. Thank you so much, as always, for choosing me over and over again. Until the next video, I'm going to go. And I hope you are well. And I'll see you. Keep well. Take care of yourself, your mind, your heart, everything else in between. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, sayonara.